All righty, I have a 2025, what I'm going to start predicting as a 2025 um, construction update for you guys today. So for those of you that have been keeping up, uh, construction markings and distance tracking and surveying has been going on in the Kingswood area and Action Zone area, and now it has consumed Time Warp and Flight Deck's queue line. So the surveying has extended to completely surround uh, Time Warp and include its uh, station. So um, again, I'll be making a full-on prediction for you guys in our podcast tomorrow on Time Warp's future at Canada's Wonderland. Um, and yeah, I as of right now, I'm not ready to make a prediction on Flight Deck, but we'll have to wait and see another two weeks if these survey markings keep moving. Because as of right now, you're going to see them. They start to surround Flight Deck, um, but I only see them attached to the queue line structures. Um, of flight deck, whereas time warp, it's attached to the actual structure, um, the station, and completely surrounds the entire attraction. So that's where things start to get really interesting um, for time warp. It also just makes sense that this ride is on the chopping block and gonna head on out to maybe one of Cedar Fair's smaller parks, um, as it doesn't really make sense at Canada's Wonderland. And if you actually stand at the exit to this ride, a lot of guests don't like it. When they get off, they're complaining about their shoulders. So I 100% see this ride ride being gone at the end of this season. In fact, I have a really strong prediction that I'll be able to make on 2025 uh, in our podcast tomorrow at 8 or today at 9 30 p.m. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the new survey markings that are completely surrounding um, Time Warp and Flight Deck's queue line and around Flight Deck's drop. Um, so it's a very large area. I also am starting to hear little birdies about 2025. So again, stay tuned tomorrow because I honestly am ready to start talking about some things. Um, and I am not talking out of my butt. Anyone who knows me knows that um, as of now, I'm getting pretty close to being able to talk pretty comfortably about 2025. So I'm sorry, I just realized what I caught on camera there for a second. I When I was filming that, I did not know they did that. Um, as I'm recording this video, I just clued in as to what that mother just did. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, uh, it's exciting. Like, honestly, uh, the rumblings I'm hearing, this could be one of our largest coaster projects ever. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll drop a little tea. Uh, the construction for this new project in 2025 will start in December, Okay. So stay tuned because this is really exciting. I'm starting to hear, uh, you know, there's some permits being filed and stuff like that. So stay tuned. 2020, uh, December, uh, we should start seeing construction start for our 2025 coaster. But yeah, it's definitely going to be a really big year um, and it's going to be a really big project. When construction starts that early, um, yeah, because uh, just to put it into perspective, land clearing didn't start for something like Leviathan until April. So let's say April next year, 2024, is when you would have seen construction start for Leviathan if it was opening in 2025. Hopefully I explained that well there, and that makes sense what I was just trying to convey. But awesome. Can't wait to uh, explain more in tomorrow's pod or today's podcast. See you at 9.30 p.m. Have a good one, guys. Bye.